Good evening friends. Another change in Rule 59 of CGST Rule 2017. Subrule 5 got inserted by notification number 94 oblique 2020 Central Taxes dated 22nd December 2020. And this new subrule which is getting inserted is starting with not withstanding anything contained in this rule rule 59 as we are referring to so overriding all the provision of rule 59 and saying that a registered person cannot furnish his outward supply of goods or services or both in GSTR 1 if he has failed to furnish GSTR 3B for preceding two month tax period, those who are monthly filer, if he has failed to file GSTR 3B for preceding two month, he will not be allowed to file GSTR 1 showing his outward supply of goods or services or both. It is in continuation of, you know, blocking of eBay bill. If preceding two month GSTR 3B is not being filed, there is a provision already under Rule 138E of CGST Rules 2017. There would be blocking of eBay bill. Now the new provision blocking of GSTR 1. He will not be able to file GSTR 1 in case he has failed, registered person has failed to file GSTR 3B for preceding two month tax period for the monthly filer. Those who are quarterly filer, filing quarterly GSTR 3B, he will not be able to file GSTR 1 showing his outward supply of goods or services or both or able to use invoice furnishing facility for furnishing of invoice of outward supply in case he has failed for file GSTR 3B for preceding tax period quarterly for the quarterly filer so simple if quarterly filer fail to file his quarterly GSTR 3B for preceding quarter, he will not be able to file GSTR 1 for subsequent tax period or will not be able to use invoice furnishing facility for its outward supply. Third, any registered person who is need to comply and restrict it to huge amount of ITC in terms of new rule, rule 86B which got inserted. He will not be able to file GSTR 1 in case he has failed to file GSTR 3B for preceding tax period. So these are the three specific provision blocking filing of GSTR 1 in case GSTR 3B is not being filed for monthly filer preceding two months for quarterly preceding quarter. So in addition to blocking of eBay bill, now this provision of blocking GSTR 1. So such registered person has to ensure they are filing regular GSTR 3B and paying the taxes beyond the period specified. They will not be able to file GSTR 1. Hence, credit in the hands of recipient would be denied because that will not be reflected in GSTR 2A of the recipient from such defaulting supplier. So this sub rule 5 of rule 59 now creating blocking 
of furnishing of GSTR-1 in addition to blocking of generation of eBay bill. So laws are getting stringent and this is the time when really we need to be tax compliant, GST compliant. That's what the provision and the sub rule 5 which getting inserted is creating one more specific stringent condition. Otherwise blocking of GSTR1. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.